everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're going to show you guys what to do if you've recently had your John Deere DPF pulled out and you've had it baked and cleaned. Um, you would also run a procedure very similar to this if you needed to cut, code the DPF because you've gotten a replacement. I'm just going through right now getting us connected here. We're using the Texas Off Highway unit today and this is a Tier 4. We'll choose Diesel Injection. And we'll click this start button here. Click confirm. And it'll take it just a moment here to connect. Alright guys, the ignition is on and we're just going to kind of go through a brief overview of the tool too as well while we're here. So once we get connected, your faults tab, you would normally have a red fault in there for active or a yellow for inactive. And then over here in your parameters tab, you can see there's 138 different parameters. We're just going to go through this kind of quick. The engine's not running right now, so you're not going to see a lot of changes here. But let's kind of give you guys an idea of some of the parameters you're able to view with this tool. Go to the bottom. And the next tab we want to take a look at is the ECU info tab. This is going to tell us some information on this engine. This tells us this is a 4045, which is a four cylinder 4.5 liter, followed by all the way down on the bottom. Most importantly, what we're going to be looking for is a diagnosis code, which tells us this is actually a level 34 ECM down here. All right. The next tab we'll go into will be our activations tab. This is going to be any of your tests you can run on this engine. Scroll through these fairly quickly too. If you guys take a look, of course your def tests are there as well as long as your NOx test too. Alright, settings tab. Here's where you've got your good functionality for clearing your latch codes, replacing your DOC, your DPF, forcing regen, maybe even coding your injectors. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to come in here to this DPF replacement. And let's say we've just had our filter sent off, we've had it cleaned, and we're ready to reinstall. So we'll click the Start button here. Get a little uh, help box here that just tells us about the spare part code, serial numbers, and all we'd need to enter. But this is what kind of sets this tool apart. We've got two options here. Not only can we code that DPF, we can tell the ECM that we have pulled it out and had it professionally cleaned. And we're going to do so by hitting 2 now. Okay. At this point, it's going to ask us to hit confirm. And we'll actually just let it sit here for just a few minutes. We're not going to do that for the video. We're going to kind of cut on through. So we're not waiting. But it's as simple as that to go in here and run that calibration. All right. Well, while we're in here, we'll go back. I'm going to crank it up real quick, let you guys see the parameters so you guys can see these things changing. And I also want to show you this dashboard feature down here as well once we get to the top. Okay. And this is kind of helpful for a tech that's maybe not familiar with the system he's working on, or in any case, it's a lot easier to read than the parameters just being in a list like they were before. Okay. We'll go back and... Next thing I want to do is show you guys this tool will force a regen. So we're going to go over here to our settings tab. And we'll look for that DPF service regen command. It's right here below. Click start. And it's going to prompt us with a few warnings here as well as a little bit of information on how long we expect this procedure to last. Now we're not going to sit here for the entire procedure. We're just going to start it and cancel it out. Um, so we'll hit confirm now. And follow the prompts here. Confirm again. And one more time. Okay. And you do get a nice visual representation. You see that DPF turn red there. And of course our RPMs have started to rise. Alright guys. Well, I'd say pretty good functionality with this tool with John Deere. Thanks for watching.